vlog one. Um, it's about 20 past five in the morning, Sunday. Um, I couldn't sleep. I've been awake since 20 past two. Um, so I decided to get up. I've done the washing up, put all the pots away from last night. Made myself a coffee. Um, in about three quarters of an hour, taking my son to Exeter because he's off to meet his girlfriend. I said, getting a coach. Um, and then we'll go to the car boot. So I'm just going to have half an hour, sit and have my coffee, watch Caroline's video and wake up slowly. Good morning. <laughs> had some um, quick breakfast and um, just got all my things upstairs from that we picked up this morning so I'd like to show you quickly um, it was so cold freezing cold and it was so dark I've not missed the car boot in the dark everybody was there with their head torches and yeah it was a bit bizarre anyway <laughs> I'll quickly show you what I got um, and there isn't that much Okay, straight off. I got this stone horse's head, which I thought was kind of cool. I got a basket, because baskets are always popular. I got this lovely big West German uh, like jug type vase, which I've now realised is a little bit damaged on the handle. That's annoying. That's what you get for going to the car boot in the dark. <laughs> I got a teapot to add to my teapot collection. I got three of these little um, casserole dishes, Denby ones. So a little sort of dark grey, almost smoky grey. That green colour that they do, I've forgotten what it's called. And a white one with a black lid. A lovely paper mache box, gold inside. Um, little wooden totem pole. It's a random collection of stuff. <laughs> a couple of Chinese salt vases. Pair, matching pair. Um, a lovely black money box. Isn't he gorgeous? Um, a pair of cufflinks. Made out of coins. You can see that one there. And the other one. I'm taking it out of the box. There. And a couple of Bezic horses. So a Shire horse and another horse. I'm not a horse expert. Um, and. Um, Pine corner, little stand, and a tie. It's quite heavy. I can't really it's probably just plaster. It has got a metal hook so it can hang on the wall. But that was kind of cool. Um, and finally, I told you there wasn't much. A book for myself. So, I'm pleased with all that lot. I'm just now making a list of what I've spent for my books and I'll roughly quickly have a look what I think they're worth. Um, and then I'm going to take them downstairs because I don't want to do too much work today. And I will get on with the next job. So I've put all that stuff away and um, I'll be right back tomorrow because today is my day off. So 
I need to do some other stuff. And I thought I'd just do a little piece to, vid to video um, just saying why I'm doing Vlogmas this year. Um, I thought it would be interesting for people to see um, what it's like day to day running a shop. Um, also um, introduce some more of the Avon products that I've started selling. And um, I've been really impressed with them and they're really good prices. So I thought people would be um, interested. So I do some product reviews. And also, um, I do low carb eating, so I thought I'd do some recipes and some tips that I've come, you know, that I've learned since I started. And also, I've got a Marks and Spencer's advent calendar, so at the end of each day, I can open up a, a little window and have a little treat. Um, so that's what's basically in store. Um, there may be other bits come along in life but uh, that's my plan okay so I need to do some stuff washing and ironing and um, tidying life stuff and uh, what I should say is Sunday is the day when I don't wash my hair and I don't wear makeup so apologies Hello again. Um, it's about five o'clock and I'm just about to run myself a bath. Um, I've had such a busy day, um, apart from doing the car boot and putting up the Christmas tree and hoovering the whole house and doing loads of washing and cleaning the bathroom and um, ironing and making a roast dinner. Um, I also sorted out in this bathroom, we've got these big, huge, like double door airing cupboard, which is really useful for storing all the bedding and towels and toiletries and stuff. But at the bottom, there's this huge chasm, which you sort of have to reach in at the bottom. Mm -hmm. And I just kept filling it with bags and old towels and old cushions that we were saving for the dog. And uh, it just got to that point where it was just overflowing. So I pulled everything out and sorted it all out. And it was a huge job back breaking as well because I had to reach in and um, put it out. Anyway, I'm running myself a bath. I had to switch it off because it was making too much noise. Um, I'm going to try this. Planet Spa Moroccan Romance. Um, Moroccan Rose Bath Oil. Bath and Shower Oil. Smells really good. Yeah, rose is what I can smell most of. But I love a bath oil because it leaves your skin feeling really good. So I'm going to have this. And then afterwards, I'm going to do my nails and open that m and advent calendar. So I will catch up with you soon. I've had my bath. It was lovely and relaxing. Really, really lovely. Um, so I'm feeling a bit shiny. <laughs> um, I've not done my nails yet. I'm going to do that later, maybe when the video is uploading. But now it's exciting. It's the advent calendar time. Um, I'll sh turn it around to show you. So this is it in all its glory oh look at all these i have not looked at all what's in here so i have no idea not had any sneaky peeks online or anything so it's going to be a big surprise so um here it is propped against my ipad number one happy new hair it says it be damaged remedy avida glasses on avida the art and science of pure flower and plant essence damage remedy daily hair repair instant visible instant visible repair protects from heat styling well I don't dry my hair or do any kind of styling, but I do have it coloured and I'm sure that must damage it. Leave-in treatment. Oh, shake well. 
work a small amount of product into your hands, apply through damp hair and comb to distribute. Do not rinse. So smell, smell test. To be honest, it smells like every other Aveda product. <laughs> if you've ever used Aveda, sort of herbally and earthy. I'll give it a go. <laughs> so I'm going to call it a night. I've got some editing to do, some nails to do. Um, thanks for watching, especially if you're here till the end. Well done. <laughs> um, please like and um, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Um, and comment. I'd love to have some comments. Love to hear what you think, what um, your advice is for Vlogmas or anything. Um, questions, be great. Give me some ideas of what to do over the next few weeks. Um, and anyway, I'm going to get on. Have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.